Welcome back. So, with the recent news of Kobe Bryant's passing, I thought it would be just a good time to, to see what few basketball cards I have. Now, before I get into that, um, so, I grew up outside of Philadelphia. Uh, I went to Radnor High School. Radnor, Radnor's sports rival was Lower Marion. So when I was a freshman in high school, Kobe Bryant was a senior at LM. So I can't say I ever met him one-on-one, -on -one, um, but I do recall seeing him on the sidelines at Radnor Lower Marion football games. Um, I still live in the Philadelphia area so, I've seen all the memorials, all the tributes, um, and just how wrecked some of the people are in the area. Um, I will not pretend and say I was ever a fan of his. Um, that would be disingenuous. I respected him as, as a basketball player and my limited knowledge of the sport. Um, even if you don't know a lot about, a lot about any given sport, you can appreciate greatness and his support. And he was one of the great ones. So I'm not going to get too much more into it. I just wanted to share that little bit and kind of just go over all the basketball stuff, which has been sitting in a box because I really don't do basketball. I do baseball. It's pretty much the only sport that I enjoy uh, collecting. So um, all this stuff I planned on getting rid of and um, now we're just going to see how um, how things progress from here I guess you could say. Um, so there's three stacks. There's some just top loaded stuff. Um I just have one touches, and I have actually a decent stack of slabs. So I'm just going to start, move right to left, move these out of the way so I get a little bit of room. Um, there's some cards that, you know, are probably worth something. Well, I know are worth something. Others, I'm no idea. Uh, I'm not even really going to go through a lot of players in this first two stacks. I'm just going to kind of flip through and see the limited... Um, basketball that I do have. Some of these I don't even know why they're in top loaders. I think they just either I got them that way, just in lots of stuff, or I may have just thrown them in there and just doing kind of a bulk sort at some point. for more commentary, but again, I honestly don't know a lot about basketball. Um, I root for the Sixers, always have, and I stay true to the city. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually been to a Sixers game in my life. Um, I don't think I've ever been to a professional basketball game in my life. It's a name I know, as well as that one, and that one. And then this is printing plate of uh, Derek Rose from 12-13 Select. I have some autos. I think Meadowlark Lemon just passed away. A Globetrotter. Vinny Del Negro. Tim Hardaway. AC Green, Bill Lambeer, and then some more current ones. Tony Bradley, James Posey, that's a name I know. Lonnie Walker the Fourth, Tomas Sadoransky, Shai 
Gilgius Alexander, Marquise Chris, Landry Shamet, and let's see, Lozana Musa. And then we got some rookies of players I actually know. So obviously Iverson had a few, again, being in the Philly area. Yeah, they're pretty prevalent. Shaq, Dirk Nowitzki, and I do have a few Kobe cards. Some more recent tribute that Hoops did in 1718. I think there's a whole set, yeah. And then some rookies. The Skybox Z Force. And NBA Hoops. And SP. All these I picked up years ago. Just trying to diversify a little bit. Alright, now we get into the one touches. So these that you saw me pull from box of, what was it, the bar, I think pieces of sports history or some, whatever it was called. So a piece of the basketball court for Larry Bird and for Magic Johnson and something written in Bill Russell's hand and a cut Kareem Abdul-Jabbar auto. And the rest I think are all autos. Bill Walton, number to 20. Dominique Wilkins, not numbered. Actually, pretty cool. Dikembe Motumbo, number to 60. Grant Hill, number to 35. Clyde Drexler, I don't believe this is numbered. Oh, no, number to 98. And actually, two of these. So the 25, I own two of them for whatever reason. Um, so Walt Frazier. And this one I picked recently. Actually, you saw it on the channel. Picked up on the cheap. Magic Johnson. And Dwayne Wade. I believe this is a rookie signature. Or, I don't know. That's a Dwayne Wade auto. All right, so that's what we have in the one touches for basketball. Now we'll get to slabs. Just take off a little bit of time here. See Paul Pierce, 98 finest rookie. And a nine. Paul Pierce, 98. Upper Deck Black Diamond, an 8 rookie. I think it's a rookie. Not even 100%. Yeah, it should be. Um, 97 Scoreboard, NBA Draft Day, Tim Duncan, an off-brand 10 rookie. And then Tim Duncan, 97 Finest, with the coding still, and a 9 rookie. Dirk Nowitzki, Stadium Club rookie, and a nine. Ray Allen, scoreboard basketball rookies, and an off-brand 10. Jason Kidd, 94 four sport rookie, an off-brand 10. Allen Iverson, 96 scoreboard basketball rookies, and an off-brand 10. Let's see. This is Kenyon Martin. Uh, and a really off brand one. What the heck is this? SP. Top Prospects. Rookie. Uh, 93 Classic Four Sport. Alonzo Morning. Um, auto. Is that on the camera a little bit better? So he's pulled in the um, Hall of Fame inductees boxes 
of all the boxes I opened, I did pull um, three basketball autos. So first is a Grand Hill from 1314 Ultra. All their basketball on so far that I've pulled, they've all already been um, actual autograph cards um, that they just slabbed. Dennis Rodman from Optic. Another Bill Walton. This time in a Trailblazers uniform. From one of these brands. It's a Panini, I know that much. Status. Legendary signatures. All right, we do have a couple older ones, and then we'll get to some rookies here. 1980 tops scoring leaders, Scott May, Larry Bird, and Jack Sigma. And then, in a beat, and that was, yeah, that was a uh, PSA eight with supposedly a stain. No, I didn't see it. And a BCCG eight. Also an early one with Quinn Buckner, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Mike Gale. And this is an interesting one. 93-94 um, upper deck. Um, and then this is the, the diamond variation, so the sparkly. Uh, this is Jordan's retirement. So it's an insert, but it has the baseball picture on the back. I thought it was interesting. All right, and then you got a few shack items here. Let me pull all the shacks down. Ninety-three classic draft picks and off-brand ten. Ninety-two flashback. I don't know if that's technically a rookie. I think it is. Eh, whatever. And ninety-two, ninety-three stadium club. And a nine. It's nines across the board and subs. Nice rookie there. And then same year stadium club members choice. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. Overall an eight, eight and a half for Shaq. And then 92 upper deck McDonald's. Shaq rookie and an eight. And we have three LeBron James supposed rookies. So 93-94 upper deck LeBron James, mail-in redemption rookie, and off-brand 10. This is always an interesting one. This is the 90, or sorry, the 2003 Sports Illustrated for Kids LeBron James rookie. And at GAI eight and a half. That's a fun one. That's in his Irish uniform. And then this one you saw recently. This used to be probably my most expensive, or most valuable, I should say, basketball card. The 2003 Tops LeBron James rookie in a PSA 9. So this one is now overshadowed by two other cards. I completely forgot I had this one. Um, 96 Stadium Club, Kobe Bryant um, in a 9. It's a rookie's insert. And this is a really tough one um, to get in this high of a grade. Um, 96, 97, metal. Kobe Bryant. And a nine and a half. Gem Mint. These cards, just like you know the old SP cards um, in the early 90s or when they first started producing, they're highly, highly... Uh, condition sensitive. So having one of these in a nine and a half is kind of ridiculous. So I guess I'll leave the, the Kobe's out. I guess 
said, I don't have much. I did, for somehow, even not collecting basketball over the years, I managed to pick up a few cards here and there. Um, because I remember even this one, you know, $10 a few years ago, and I got it for, I think, 75% off. Um, so I think any of the rookie, the raw rookies, I might have paid two fifty four um, at the time. And then the slabs, I think the most I paid for either one of them was like 25 bucks. So it's kind of crazy. Um, to see what's happening now and, and really what's happened since uh, he retired, period. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of crazy to see what, what what the cards are doing. And um, but it's, Again, I thought it was uh, an appropriate time to just kind of review some of the basketball stuff I have. I've been meaning to do it. Um, and when just put it out there, um, my slight, ever so slight connection um, to Kobe Bryant, and that's all I got for you this time around. So, I'll close the same way as you usually do, and that's to tell you, collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect. Don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. But most importantly, have fun. You know, the best way to have fun and to really enjoy the hobby is to be an active member of the community. So find your way to be active. That suits you. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, talking about the hobby of family and friends. And once you're active, an active member of the community, you will gain so many friends and gain so much knowledge um, and just really appreciate the similarities and differences that we have amongst ourselves um, in this community. Um, all different people, all different backgrounds, all different PCs, but we share the common interest, the common passion of collecting cardboard. So, thank you for joining me. I know it's a little different this time, but thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.